Good day ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jan the Bomb and today I'm going to do a quick unboxing of a new reel which I just got and maybe do a little explanation on what I just bought. So here, yeah, let me open this. Alright. <laughs> All right, just kidding. So anyway, this is the package. So what I ordered online was the, the Casking Speed Demon Bait Caster Reel. So I don't use bait casters. I used to have one, but I sold it away because I gave up on bait casters and never wanted to touch it again. But here I am. This uh, bait cast reel. I bought it because I saw how fast the or how large the the real ratio is so it has like a pretty huge uh, gear ratio so it's like a 9.3 or uh, something is to one so one turn of the oh it's a tough pick up so one turn of the real handle and it's about 9.3 times Revolutions for the spool. So that means uh, this reel is capable of very very fast retrieves, and that excited me a little bit. So let's see like how fast this reel could actually really roll in something, and um, I don't know, just like try my hand at big casters again because whoa, because I just like a challenge. Alright, back to focus. Let me cut away all this stuff first. And we're almost there. Okay. Okay, there we have it. A little dented box, but I think it's fine. Okay, let me look at this again. There we go. Specs are here. There we have it. Super fast speed, 9.3 is to 1 gear ratio. So that was what um, actually spurred me to get this reel. Because I wanted to try something, try a, a big caster again. And this one seemed really interesting. There we have it, the casking box. And okay, okay. So um, disclaimer first, right? So I don't use bait caster reel, so I would honestly give the worst opinions on this reel because I have nothing else to compare them to. I've never touched like any Shimano BC reels or Daiwa BC reels. The only BC reel which I used to own was uh, some China reel. I think it was uh, what called that. The C night reel, but anyway, this reel. Whoa. Okay, let's just uh, give you a few perspective of this reel. It honestly feels very nice, like uh, like it's worth more than I paid for it. So anyway, I bought this for about I think eighty SGD. Which is around 60 or 50 USD. Can't remember exactly. I'll probably put the link to where you could buy this in the description below. And yeah. If you guys are interested, you guys can go and get this yourself. Oh my god, the focus is terrible. Focus, camera focus, you can do it. Alright, there you have it. Just more perspective of the reel so that you guys can have a look see of everything here. Okay, so I can't possibly give a accurate review about this reel, but wow, 
Look at that speed of the retrieve. Looks really fast. Anyway, um, it's not a very heavy reel. It's not the lightest BC reel ever, but it's uh, I think a moderate width. And it actually feels very very smooth. Let's see if we can spin this. Hmm, the bearings are pretty good too. I think. Okay, so anyway, um, this reel um, uses the magnetic brake system. So what a magnetic brake system really does is um, uses magnets on the reel cover. The magnets are here. Focus to give you a better look. Okay, so the magnet actually induces a current onto the spool, and according to Faraday's law, it creates a current which opposes the force creating or inducing that current. Does that make sense? Am I saying it right? Anyway, if you want to look up on Faraday's law, I will probably explain it a little bit more later on, probably. And here's the spool. First looks. Actually, pretty nice. Yeah, that's more like it. It's like a pretty nice reel. Okay. This reel actually feels very solid as compared to. The C night reel which I had previously, that reel felt more plasticky and this one feels more more like it's made out of better quality materials, hence the higher price. I think the aesthetics are also very very nice. It looks a bit like a like a Daiwa reel if I'm not wrong. Okay and we're back. So now I'll tell you guys a little bit more about how magnetic brakes in bit caster reels work. I know I did mention about Faraday's law at the beginning and it's actually Lenz's law which governs the principle of magnetic brakes in bit caster reels. So what Lenz's law is about is that Lenz's law states that an electric current induced by a source such as a changing magnetic field always creates a counter force opposing the force inducing it. I know it sounds a bit confusing, so let me try to explain it simple for you guys. Simple. Simply. Simple. Okay. Anyway, how this works is that the magnets on the bit caster reel cap or side plate actually creates a, a electric current. It induces an electric current in the spool itself whenever the spool turns. Because the magnets are close enough to actually have a magnetic force cutting through the spool. So when the spool turns, let's say it turns uh, clockwise like so, an electric current actually is induced in the spool itself. And this electric current induced creates a counter force, which is, uh, which is the main force which stops the spool from spinning. So this counter force actually... Uh, is trying to turn the let's say if the, the spool is turning clockwise like so the electric current induced in the spool actually wants to turn it anti-clockwise and that is pretty much how magnetic brakes in big caster reels work so it's not really about friction but it's more about the uh, forces acting against each other created by magnetic fields so Maybe that's not the best explanation anybody can give about how magnetic brakes work, but if you're interested in learning more about Faraday's law and Lenz's law, just uh, Google it or YouTube it and I'm sure somebody else out there can give you a better explanation on how these forces work and maybe you get a better understanding on how magnetic brakes in bed caster reels work. So anyway, I'm very happy with this uh, this reel which I just bought, I'll probably test it out in a few days time after I've spooled in some line. 
But uh, although I did say, I did talk about how magnetic brakes work, the goal for me actually is to use minimum brakes. So that is why I actually bought this, so to train casting with zero brakes. So ambitious I know, but I think it's a pretty interesting challenge. So yeah, that's all for me today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give me a thumbs down. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you want any more information about the reel. And I'll try to fish with this as soon as possible and try not to get too many backlashes before I quit. Assuming I quit, which I think I might soon. Yeah, that's all for me today. Tight lines and smiley face.